Scorpio, this is all about you. Scorpio, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is for Scorpio sun, moon, rising, or wherever Scorpio energy influences your natal chart. You can apply these energies for the next seven days. Let's jump right into the oracle card reading. I'm going to do a full oracle card spread on this side. And then there's an, a link below in the description box to an extended reading with a full tarot card spread that extends this reading and your romance reading for the next seven days. So that's always below and always an option. And sometimes it's an absolute necessity because those extendeds, and I'll let you guys know, whenever an extended is off the hook, I'll be like, holy moly, or like, you gotta see this, like stuff like that. I'll, I'll like clue you in. But anyway, of course, it's always there if you wanna continue, um, continue the reading. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Scorpio energy, Scorpio energy. Oh, oh. See, this is a big reading, first of all. It's like half the cards are out on the freaking table. But the crowning energy is, is quite beautiful. So now is a lucky time. This is rabbit energy. And anybody, anybody think of... Like, listen, anybody who knows me and has listened to my readings for a while, and most of you Scorpios have, rabbit, rabbit, which is lucky. It brings in fortune. It means you're calling in your luck. And then this is like a kiss of blessing that's coming into you this week. Almost fortune multiplying itself. Something to do with family. Something to do with being surrounded by family. Also could do with be just reproducing. Reproducing your energy, your luck, your money. Seeing it multiply having a sense of uh, abundance around you all week, but this is a sense of multiplication, okay? So the abundance is multiplying, it keeps multiplying, and it could very well be that you're starting a family. This is my fertility card. So either you're mm -mm, like you want to make some babies or you're like screwing like little bunnies. That's what it is. Very, very fertile energy of just... Um, being an emotion of reproduction, reproduction, reproduction. This is the this is it. This is the fertility card. So Scorpios, I don't know if you guys have been wanting to make babies, but this also could be like sort of metaphorical babies in that it's just reproducing something that you've been like your abundance is multiplying. In other words, so this could be your money because this is about luck. Remember, God bless the old adage of the the rabbit's foot. You know, it brings luck. This is fortune. And I think that the, the foundation for the energy of rabbit energy is that you, they multiply very, very quickly. In other words, Scorpio, whatever it was that was getting you down, whatever it was that was hurting you, whatever it was that was causing you a great deal of sorrow, it's, 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 it's going away and being replenished very quickly. It's almost like the quick turnaround, quick life cycle. So it's not going to last long. You're going to be able to wash it clean and recover from this. And it's going like, like a quick life cycle. In other words, something that is a quick turnaround, a fast turnaround, a uh, quick like a bunny, quick, quick, quick. So there's this energy of um, rapid multiplication, of, of something happening in abundance and quickly. And this is your crowning energy for the whole reading. Um, like I said, this is also fertility, so it also has to do with maybe horniness as well, which is an, just an energy that you are... You like living in, you know what I'm saying? You very, I'm saying you are very familiar with. So there's this energy of maybe you just banging like bunnies this week. I don't know. Maybe you're gonna take some time off. <laughs> Let's get into the rest of the reading because it's a big reading and a lot of cards came out for you. Oh, are you dealing with a Cancerian? Because there's some magic that's being worked and it's coming around you. It's not necessarily coming from you, but it's coming around you. And this is Cancerian energy. Magic works through you. There's this energy of a transfer of abundance from one to the other. An energy of a link or a connection. That there is this, this magic happening because of who you are and because of what you share with the world. Um, a long time ago in Egypt. This was the zodiac sign, the, the, the animal representing the cancer, Cancerians. It was not the crab. It was the scarab beetle, which is a very holy beetle. And it's attached to, once again, that life cycle, that birth and regeneration and and some sort of spell casting. This is an energy of maybe you feel like somebody's put a spell on you, or but it has more to do with your intent. 
So it's, I feel this energy of something pulsating through you. This, this divinity, this divineness, this spell pulsing through you, something happening to you first and then through you. But once again, it's almost like you out of nothing being able to replicate and create something, um, magic, magic, uh, like almost a charisma, charisma. There's this energy around you this week that is making things possible and making things happen. It's really interesting. Five plus two is seven. This is an energy of creation. What are you working on, Scorpio? What are you creating? Because it's working and it's going to multiply rapidly. Um, be here now, be in the present moment. You could be dealing with a Libra, but this is also taste the sweetness of life by living in this present moment. So this is telling me that over the next seven days, you are going to be able to feel the abundance. You're going to be able to experience it. It's not going to be happening just around you and you're not noticing it. This is something that you're actively in and a part of it, the root connection, this is like root chakra type of energy of that you are grounded and you, you, because because of that groundedness, you actually see the abundance all around you. It's like you're not lost in the past. You're not lost in the future. You're not lost in the ap afterlife. You're, lo you're here and now you're lo not lost at all. There's just this beautiful energy of being whole and being very firmly gra grounded, being someplace that makes you feel an abundance, a lot of happiness, and a lot of rejuvenation. There's a sweetness of life. Maybe you're someplace tropical. I know some of you are going to Mexico. Hi. No, but that's like the, maybe you're just you're just in a place that you feel the most beautiful. Because I keep getting that energy of beauty. There's a lot of beauty and there's a lot of abundance, and you're 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 plumb in the middle of it. And I think the be the most beautiful thing is that you're not you're not worried about the future and you're not worried about the past. You're, you're living right here, right now. And what do I say? When you live right here, right now, your abundance knows where to show up. And I feel like somebody out there listened and, and the abundance is arriving. This is like that GPS tag. Here I am. Here I am. I'm right here. So your abundance can come your way. And you're actually working this. So there's something like active, like you're actively involved in the process of living with intent and and um controlling your mind there there's just a peace to you there's a peace open to infinite possibilities openness a broadening almost an enlightenment have you been seeing 1111 a lot lately because this is energy of awakening of expansion of realization of the being closer to who you are and what you are and your connection to everything around you this is a very holy energy if i could say but it's also your star is shining so people are taking notice of you this is star energy this is public recognition this is attention but it's it's not like you're doing it for attention it's that you're you're sharing yourself you're open you're so like where you are right now that you're shining your light is so fucking bright right now that's what's going on with you this week is that it's it, it, you're radiating. You're radiating from being balanced, from being in that perfect spot, from being whole, complete. You're not divided, you know, one one foot in the past and and uh, not being able to let go of it. You're not divided. You're you're whole and complete right now. Time to let go of whatever is eating and gnawing at your heart. So I think this was a healing process. This could have been a journey for you to let go of something that was causing you sadness a great deal of pain um this could yeah yeah it's something that was very dear to you very very close to who you are and how you identified yourself there's an energy of something that has tagged along with you for quite some time could have been years but you've learned to be able to not need it anymore it was almost like it was grounding you but it was also constantly causing you pain and you learned that that pain was a part of life but the truth is it wasn't that pain was a choice and whatever has been gnawing at your heart whatever has been buried and <clears throat> subverted you were able to cleanse and you were able to heal and you were able to not let it have any power over you anymore this is the essence of acceptance release and and resolution oh 
That's so beautiful. And do you see there's this energy of three plus one is four, which is a very earth-based energy. It's a very grounded energy. It's an, in, it's an intense energy of just living in the moment and rooting yourself. Time to heal. What did I say? You're completely healing. This is um, um, almost hypnotic. You could be working with hypnosis. You could be going to therapy. But snake is a very healing energy sent from spirit. Think of kundalini. Remember the kundalini snake that twirls around in the center of your gut, in that in that base, base chakra. So sexual healing uh, is good for you. This is an energy of lots of sexuality. But remember, snakes eat rabbits. So watch out because there is an energy of, yes, you're healing, but Kundalini, people talk about Kundalini a lot, Scorpio. And I got to say, um, I'm not sure that everybody really knows what Kundalini energy is because it can release a lot of real demons inside of you. If you don't stick to it, stick to the process, commit yourself to go through all the energy and continue to heal and continue to expand your understanding of what it is. So once you awaken that kundalini energy, it's not just about, you know, screwing like bunnies. It's about accepting and understanding that energy, that energy that's pulsing through you and understanding how to uh, utilize it so that it helps to heal you. It doesn't burn you from the inside out. So it's almost like, yes, you are healing yourself, healing yourself. Don't let it escape you or get away from you because there's this energy of watch out. What you are producing inside of you could to then as quick, just as quickly turn and feast on the abundance that you're creating as well. There, it, there's always this energy of, uh, yes, yeah, snake is a representation of a time to heal, but this is, this is also a very aggressive energy of there could be a snake in the grass. I always say that, that I just feel like there's this energy of like, see how the, the heart, it's almost like you have been so focused on healing, you don't necessarily know that there is somebody wielding itself around you, lusting you up, and there's a snake in the grass. There's a snake that's twirling around you and twirling inside of you, and there's this energy of hypnosis, hypnotics. Um, um, and then maybe feasting on you. So I want you to watch that energy because this is a very beautiful week for you and you're open and you're vulnerable. And as long as you focus your healing on who you are and you don't let somebody else be a open participant or a controlling participant, you're all good. This is an exceptional week for you. But if there's somebody else that's sort of like pulling your strings watch out because it's more manipulation and it's deep and it's almost like they're going to be replacing themselves for that old hurt that you needed because they want to be needed by you so watch out for that energy focus on life is speeding up it's taking off it's it's going it's going like rapid but two becoming one do you see there's this energy of multiply once again combining your life with somebody twirling around each other. It could also be somebody twirling themselves around your neck. So watch out the energy too. Uh, watch out for fertility. Watch out for, oops, by the way, I'm pregnant, baby. Watch out for that kind of stuff. This is Gemini energy. But this is, if you're focused, in other words, this is wonderful energy for yourself, for self-healing and self-growth. This is exceptional energy to focus on who you are and living in this moment and just being in this present time and allowing yourself to be healed. But don't be allowing someone else to heal you because I swear to God, that is some voodoo boo poo poo. Okay? Don't. Don't let somebody, like, be healing yourself or with a, a master or a, a counselor or something like that. Somebody objective. But if there is somebody close to you, I'm telling you right now, things are going to move so quickly. I think that you're sort of, you're, you're in this hypnotic daze so that you can heal. You're not going to really see this happening. Set healthy boundaries. There's the risk that you run. There's the, there's the warning, a gentle warning. This is also Cancerian energy to remind you to respect yourself and remind you to, um, you know, being here in the present moment doesn't mean letting somebody like slop all over you. It, it, also, it, it also means open yourself up a little more, but it's that fine balance. It's a beautiful energy of balance. This is that Libra. This is love. This is that energy of romance and sensuality. 
being all around you, but it is, it's around you because it is you, you're producing it. Don't let somebody else access it and take control of it. This is a need to be very, very careful because there's something that you protected yourself from for a very long time. Something that you hid and held onto, a hurt and a pain that almost molded you and stru structured you and drove you and almost in some ways, became what you are it's like that was part of your magic but there's this energy of now you can let it go and now you can heal it but watch out watch out because there's a snake in the freaking grass that is trying to combine with you so you better be just be careful trust in yourself this week trust in yourself this week and set healthy boundaries when it comes to others make sure that they know Look at this. Miracles are abundant. You're having a beautiful life. This is the energy of abundance and and there's just so much happy it's it's it's, uh, it's almost like uh, happiness all around you. So just be in this present moment and be connected to all, not to one specific person. Watch out for that person who wants to cling to you. That's a warning. But you're talking about all, when you talk about big love, when you talk about community, this is that week to do it. Be attached to everyone, everyone around you. Take your brother and sister's hand and your neighbors and love everybody and, and open yourself up to the beauty of the world that is around you, your family, your community. That's the energy where this abundance is just going to take off. It's going to grow. It's just going to prosper. And this beautiful stuff happening in the Hindi faith, the cow is a deity. It's a specialized animal because when the deities come to visit earth, the cow is their steed. They choose the cow. So it's almost like the cow is the conduit between the gods and earth. It delivers or, or carries the gods while they're on earth. And that's why in the Hindi, in the Hindi faith, they don't, they don't eat cows. They don't because like that's the, that's the chosen steed of the, of their deities. So it's almost like God is speaking directly to you. You're getting a message of abundance. You are the conduit almost this week for spirituality and love and faith and connectivity. So keep in that energy because that is the energy. I swear to God, that is the energy that is just going to be the center of your abundance this week. So much abundance. Look at this abundant universe provides. This is some major earth energy. This is double Taurus energy. So you have Venus a Venus, a love energy, a love and, and romance, but it's almost like love and romance with the world. And you're having everything be provided for you. You don't want for anything. It's you're feeling the love. You're feeling the love, the big love this week. This is also a very holy animal. It's a protective animal too. It's an animal that reminds us of our connection to earth grounded energy, um, resourcefulness, the fact that you have abundance even when you think you've run out, the, the understanding that you don't need anything. You aren't lacking anything. You have everything that you need and it's right here. And what you don't need will be provided for you and will come to you. There's this healing energy. This is the an energy of 10, right? Of completion. You've completed some sort of life cycle. You're closing it out. You're finally able to let it go. Let it go. This is you at the center of your reading, able to finally release an energy that didn't serve you anymore. It's not a, it's not a piece of you anymore. You're free of it. See the big picture, more earth energy. I don't know if you guys are around Taurus this week, Virgo or Capricorn. There you go. That Capricorn energy coming in to influence and help you, to help stabilize you and solidify you and focus you because Capricorn is an energy very much like your energy. It is, is very similar. Um, you know, they are the metal. Capricorn is, is the metal of earth and you are the ice of water. So there's, there's a, a, a conviction and a constitution that lies in the both of you that I, I think you both can understand. And once you get something set in your head, you're going to work for it, Scorpio, until it is absolutely realized. And there is that commitment and this energy that it, to this commitment, but yours is a spiritual commitment, especially for this week. But you are a more spiritual sign. You are a very holy sign. You're that. You're that. You're that bridge between the underworld and the upper world, right? The spirit world and 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 the 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 living, the land of the living. You're that. You're that understanding. And I think whatever you had gone through in your life, you've sort of passed over it. You've 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 finished it. You've completed it. So for, for as long as, for, in other words, 
karma's come around. A karmic cycle has ended. And now, Scorpio, there's this energy of you being absolutely rewarded with peace, tranquility, and enlightenment. Let spirit be your guide. You just can't get more obvious than that. This could be, this is definitely air energy, Aquarian energy, um, or Gemini energy of, of not only being able to understand and see your purpose for the future this week, but also being able to, um, being able to, uh, easily trust where your direction is going and not question so much but have faith because you're free this is a lightning this is also raw so scorpio i just have a feeling like you got you got real like all the superfluous stuff just doesn't work for you anymore you don't you don't care about it it's like forget about the glamour forget about the hype forget about the bs you're stripped down and you're raw and you're finding the beauty in the truth, not the glamour. You're finding the beauty in the truth. So be loyal to what you love. And it's funny because I almost read this, be loyal to who you love. But this is what you love. And be very careful that you make that, make that differentiation. Is who you love what you love? Or is what you, or is who you love um, or is what you love now becoming more important and bigger and larger? It's like your purpose in life. But this is the energy of a very loyal companion, a very loyal friend, um, somebody who maybe has helped to bring you around or st stood by you through thick and thin and will love you uh, completely and unconditionally. Uh, be loyal to what you love. This is an energy. This is Cancerian energy as well. There's a lot of Cancerian energy floating all around you of home and domesticity. And and this could be the, new, the, the full moon. I feel like there was something to do with your family. There's something to do with your family that you had to heal. And you had to, you ha well, you're gearing up to heal. In this next seven days, we're going to hit that Cancer full moon. There is this energy of conquering or or confronting a past hurt that has to do with your family scorpio and you have access to it before everybody else because you have access to those underbelly realms so it's almost like like let it let it like conquer it before before it comes up because it's going to come up and there's this energy of you have the purity of heart now to actually be able to resolve some old issue that has held you down and hurt you for a very long time this could be the energy of i'm thinking father some sort of father energy some energy that needs to be healed in terms of um uh yeah it's almost like um, you know, the, the masculine energy, uh, aggression and ambition and, and, you know, maybe you're always attracted to people like that because you didn't have that in your life or because of this patriarchal energy that, that has been lacking or twisted in some way. You had this horrible, these horrible attachments and, and were maybe attracted to the same kind of person or you were in, in other words, you were in a karmic cycle. Well, guess what? There's an energy right here of that grounded Capricornian energy saying it's time Scorpio to end and that karmic pattern to end it. And now I'm giving you all the tools to heal yourself and close this out. So you have a freedom. Um, time for a beginner mind. You're definitely starting over. Uh, and, and you're a little bit bristly in that you carry your defenses wherever you go and you have a sense of confidence about who you are now. You're a little bit longer in the tooth. You're, you're, you know, you're not as gentle and tender as you used to be, but there's a strength in that and there's something about that that you like. So this isn't false defenses. This is, you carry your swords wherever you go. This is also sort of an energy of swords, like sword energy, like air energy of being able to be witty and think on your feet and knowing you can go anywhere and like talk, conversations, um, 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 being able, like communication. Um, communication is coming very easily for you this week. Communication is coming very easily for you this week. Whoa, there's a lot here, Scorpio. Jesus. Spirit has a plan. This is, I really feel like you are literally like, one like it's a very like your like meditation and and connection to spirit and being able to let go and relinquish 
this idea, you're finally there. You're finally able to trust and have faith and, and be in this present moment. But this is a, this is a link to spirit. So this is almost like you've been praying a lot or you've been resting and you've been focusing and you've been meditating and you've been concentrating. This is an energy of becoming enlightened and becoming unafraid and unabashedly still and calm and current right here, right now. Um, spirit has a plan. You're supposed to be where you are right now. This is part of your path and part of your divine path. And I'm telling you, Scorpio, you've never been more aligned than you are right now. Because this is all part of where you are right now in your life. This was all part of a divine plan. And because you are there and you've allowed yourself to be there. Oh, wow. This is part of the setup. The, the setup for your... Um, fortune coming in. I, I don't know what that is yet. We'll get into that with tarot. Lay a solid foundation and take the lead. Um, wait, lay a solid foundation and take the lead. You are A, taking over a leadership position. Once again, these are the antlers connecting to the ether, but you are designing your future. You are the person that is not only designing your future, this is you. It's almost like you've been selected. You've been selected to be that special force that ushers other people forward, that guides other people or helps interpret this uh, higher understanding for them. This is also Virgo energy, grounded energy of being able to see a clear path forward. But it's almost like spirit has picked you, like hand picked you. This card shows up to say this is an energy of spirit hand picking you or communicating to you. Um, uh, personally, you could be seeing, seeing, um, messages or seeing visions or having dreams or, or receiving, like I said, this is a, a, a big awakening week for you. So this is an energy of seeing a lot of signs and symbols and synchronicities and feeling it and everything lining up. Oh, my puppy is dreaming. Um, this is an energy of, of you're starting a whole new life. This is, this is a brand new you. This is. Like you've gone asleep and you've waken up as somebody else. Spirit has a plan. Oh my God. Do you see this? This is 35 and this is 58. Inverted. It's almost like, it's almost like what was inside out is now being turned right side in. And they're both, they both add up to eight, three and five and, oh no, wait, wait. Three and five is eight. And then five and eight, I'm sorry, is 13. Which is four. It's more grounded energy. I keep hearing, all I keep hearing is you've been selected. And the moves you make over the next seven days are basically laying the foundation for your future. Give with gratitude and grace. There's this energy here of having so much or being so full that you just want to give, give all yourself away. You want to share yourself with the world. There's a big open wide heartedness to you. There's a beautiful, like you have so much. That's what you, you feel so full. You haven't, you haven't felt this full. It's like, like you're stuffed. You're stuffed with abundance. This is also, you will have everything that you need. You have the resources. You're just in a very gracious mode. Here is your grounding energy. Trust in the magic. This is a brand new beginning. A brand new beginning in the winter season. When things are cold and seem glum, you find the hope. You access the new life. This is also new life springing into the world. This is you could be becoming a father or a mother or, or finally having a baby. This is a high fertility time. But it's also the, the creation of an idea. The, the, the opening up to um, something, something that you made with spirit. If that makes any sense at all. Sing your own song. Canary energy is here. You could be dealing with a Gemini, but this is um, music. It's music, sharing yourself through music, sharing, like finding your tune, finding your rhythm and finding your harmony. 
um, harmonizing, harmonizing, finding a harmony could be with somebody, but I don't think so. I honestly think you're alone this week, unless you are in a very happy relationship and then no, you're not the, and you are harmonizing. But, but I really think that it's more, even if you are with, you know, a long-term partner, it's, it's about your personal journey and you finally finding Harmony, harmony, harmony is the ultimate state of balance. It is that type of balance that enables all different kinds of tunes to be themselves, but also be the most beautiful with everybody else. And you're just finding that connection this week and nothing is wasted. All that you've been through, there's something here. There's something here. All air energy, air, Aquarius Libra, Gemini, all air, Aquarius, Gemini, and this energy of finding fi in the middle of waste. It's like in the middle of the waste, you have found this newness. You found this gem, you found this treasure and you found it in thought in meditation and wisdom and broadening and expanding yourself and growing as a person so that nothing around you, it's almost like Yes, things have been horrible. You could be you could be like literally surrounded by a shit pile. But this week is the week where you realize the fertility in that shit pile and what you can do with it and what 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 oh my god, I didn't realize this reading was going so long. I apologize. Um Yeah, let me turn let me turn the camera around. Hold on. I got totally lost. I completely lost my sense of time. Sorry, Scorpio. A complete loss. Look how huge that reading is. It's almost like everything in your life has showed up for you to be able to wash it away and start completely clean. But where are you headed in the future? Because this, to me, is the beginning of the rest of your life. Because it is a complete and total awakening. So what I'm going to look for in the extended is, where is this going? What's the next step? Where is it headed? And who exactly, what is that snake energy? Is it there to heal or is it there to steal? Plus your romance reading. I'll see you over there. The link is below, Scorpio. I'll see you over there.